Hello, in this lecture I will teach you about string format by creating a new console application. You can click here or select File on the menu bar. New and Project. I will choose Visual Basic and Console Application. Then enter the name for our program, String underscore Format. Keep it in the same place, then click OK. Wait a minute for loading. The program will then create a module automatically. We key command into the area between submain and nsub. First of all, I will declare three variables to format. The first one is first name. Use dim keyword, then name a variable, first name followed by as and the type of variable which is string and the equal symbol. I will assign a value for the variable immediately. Add the value of the variable inside double quotation marks by typing our first name. Another variable is last name. Follow the same process. The last variable is int age, which will be assigned as 19. The first example. I will comment here. This will be example 1. I want to print example 1. Use console dot right line and brackets and the message that we want which is example one. Then I will connect the variables together basically. Use console dot right line. The string will be defined as first name. and connect each one with the AND symbol, followed by the name of the variable that we want to connect, which is, in this case, first name. OK, right now we get first name. Next, last name will be connected too. We use the AND symbol, followed by the message that we want to display which is last name. Make sure that the line is properly formatted. It has to have spaces both in the beginning and at the end. Then connect to the variable last name. Last, we will connect with age. Type age colon and provide space both at the beginning and at the end. Connect with the variable like this. After that, start a new line that will be blank. Use console.writeLine. The console application has to be commanded to pause the window. If you don't do this, the window will be closed after it finishes running. Use console.read. If you want to exit the program, just press the Enter key one time. Let's start. OK, we will find that first name colon is string that we added and tannin comes from the value of the variable that we assigned as the value in the beginning. Last name colon has the same case and sangam is the value of the variable assigned in the beginning. Age colon is the same. 19 comes from int age, which is the value of the variable here. OK, press the Enter key. Let's turn to another example. I will comment example 2 here. Follow the same process. 
Use console.writeLine and example2. Then we will use console.writeLine with brackets. Here we will use string format by typing string.format, then add brackets and the message that we want to display, which is first name colon. After that, type the curly brackets and add position of the variable, in this case, zero. Next, last name, colon, like this. All of this has to be placed in double quotation marks. Then add 1 in curly brackets. 0 in curly brackets represents first name, and 1 in curly brackets represents last name. It begins at 0. Lastly, add age like this. Age will be a 2 inside of curly brackets. After this, locate the cursor behind the double quotation marks. Add a comma to separate and then type the variables we want to display. The first variable is first name. The second one is last name and the third is int age. It means that we use first name to display here, a zero inside curly brackets, and use last name to display in one inside of curly brackets. int age to display a two inside of curly brackets. Next step is the same. Use console dot right line. Okay. Let's test the program to compare between the two examples. We will see that the outputs from the program are identical. It's just that we use a different pattern to write code. Right here, I will type one extra letter, so let's run it one more time. OK. They're exactly the same now. Press the Enter key to close the window. Next example. This example is applicable only for Visual Studio version 2015 or newer. If you have an older version, I recommend you use the aforementioned example. Example 3. Same as before. Console.WriteLine and example 3 with brackets. Please try to practice as much as you can. I selected the console application so that you have to type by yourself and you will become accustomed to it. Next, follow the same process. Use console.writeLine mm -hmm. with bracket. We have to type only the open side of the bracket and the other side will be automatically provided by the program followed by the dollar symbol and a double quotation which we have to type just one time and the other one will also be provided automatically by the program. Next, add value. I will type first name colon, press the spacebar once and add curly brackets in which we type the variable we want to display which is first name. Press the space bar once and do the same. Add last name inside curly brackets. 
Lastly, age colon and make sure the variables are in curly brackets, like this. After this, console.writeLine brackets. Let's run the program to test. OK, we will find that even if three examples have different patterns of code writing, the outputs are identical. This is to say that it is up to personal preference or writing style. There is no compulsion to follow a particular pattern. It's just that example 3 can be used only with Visual Studio version 2015 or newer. If you use the older version, it is possible that this code may not work. Let's move to the last one, example 4. This one also has to be used with Visual Studio version 2015 or newer. Use console.writeLine. We are more accustomed to typing this, so please practice typing a lot. Example 4. I will add some special formats by adding a tab that leaves some spaces before typing the message so that it will be more pleasing to the eye. Use the VB tab command. Then add the plus symbol or the AND symbol and use the same grammar as above. For example, the dollar symbol and type the message which is first name colon in double quotation marks followed by first name in curly brackets. Next, if you want to start a new line every time, you have to use and symbol environment dot new line in the same curly brackets. When starting a new line, we have to have a tab before last name colon to match with first name. Next, last name colon and the variable in curly brackets. Also start a new line. Use the plus symbol VB new line or environment dot new line. It's up to you. We're going to tab tab here too, then add age colon int age in curly brackets. The last one will be console dot right line. Try to start to see the output. OK, we will see that there is a message, example 4, displayed here. Then it has one tab in front of first name and string called first name colon. which has the same name of the variable tannin here inside. Then program the command to start a new line by using environment.newLine command. Start the new line here and also add one tab before the last name. Next, use VB new line to start a new line and VB tab to organize the format to be the same as above. And display age and 19 from int age in curly brackets. Okay, 
This lecture provided knowledge on how to basically format string. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.